Huh. Looks like the only two food places I haven't finished yet are Earth Angel and Beef Zone. Every single other place has a crown. But then there's also all these gaming places, which... <sighs> Win every single race and time attack in the drone races. I don't know. That one time I did drones might be it. <laughs> it was a fun little diversion. I don't know if I want to do like a whole series on it though. 162 parts. Mahjong. I don't know. By the way, that horrifying moment when you look at it and it's like, Yo, you've been playing for 40 hours, dude. 54% complete. <laughs> what? No! I can't be that far off. That's impossible. You're lying. <laughs> Why would you lie to me? Where is the criminal man hanging out today? Where would... He be hiding. Anyway. That's where the- I knew, I knew I saw one more- One more case hiding out up there on top of the map. Just kind of lost track of it. Might as well check bartender while we're, while we're here. We can't check Genda Law Office because it's perpetually a part of the story. Almost like it's a primary quest hub. I mean, primary story p plot. Nah, I don't have to come back here till I'm level 45. That's the only remaining quest. Which we're getting there, I think. 36. Ah, yeah, my side, my side cases are, are ahead of my level at this point. So I, I still need... I still need nine reputation points? Like... With who? Oh, I guess with you, actually. I guess I am right here. That's probably... It's probably time to talk to him again. Also, can I order the food here yet? I feel like that's been denied me this whole time. Maybe I have to finish this entire friendship before I can order food here? It seems like a lot of hoops for someone to have to go through. Oh, Yagami-san, welcome to the beef zone. Thanks. Has business been getting any better? Well... We made a family special like you suggested, and now we have families coming in from all over the place. <laughs> Fantastic. That's good to know. But that's still not enough. At this rate, Kunra is going to swallow us whole. Can you think of any other ideas? Am well, I just going to try all these things? Added desserts, I guess. Why not expand the dessert menu? That way, you'll attract more families with young kids as well as groups of girls. Help helps give that menu a nice touch. <laughs> wow, you really know your stuff. You sure you weren't a restaurant manager before? It feels like I've already said that, he says. It does feel like you've already said that now. Okay, now I'm curious. Can I just like... Woo! And then I walk around these bikes, and then I go right back in. It makes the, it makes the loot respawn. Not his quest, though. I think I just need to keep coming back until I suggest all those things on the list, which just makes me wish I could just say all of them back to back, and then we move on. I kind of wish the game wasn't cluttered with the stuff that I've already completed. I guess the incentive is that you're supposed to run up to those people because you can get items from them as gifts for what you did, but that just sounds tedious. I don't want to revisit, like, 50 different people at random constantly. I mean, you could just infinitely loop between all of them, I, I think. Like, you could just keep talking to all of them on a loop, and they, they would have reset by the time you get through them all. But, like, or you could just play the game. <laughs> like, I don't... I'm not into that. They're not gonna give you anything that, that is able to even help you with, like, 99.9% .9 of the content. A uniformed man. Oh, right now? N no, it's no problem at all. <laughs> Honey, who are you <gasps> talking to? How long are you going to be on the phone? Don't worry, sweetie. I'll just be a sec. There. No, Captain. 
I wasn't calling you, sweetie. I mean, yes, of course, I'm at home. I was talking to my cat. I'll head over right away. How dare you spend your wife's birthday on the phone. <laughs> oh, waiter, another glass of the good stuff and make it snappy. Oh, he's out. Oh, no. That's not the voice of a drunk woman. The TV is on. And it's loud. I'm totally at home right now. I'm, I make it a point not to get too close to drunks. And that lady is plastered. Stay away from the drunk is the quest. Whoops. Hey, you. Hey, me? Yes, you with the dumb face. Come here and take a load off. What? Why would I? I said have a seat. How long are you gonna make me drink alone? But I'm... Don't keep your wife waiting on her <gasps> birthday. Shit, this is what I get for thinking about keeping my distance. How many has she had anyway? Okay, uh, did you need anything? Do... Do I know you? Stop with the nonsense. I'm your wife. And you don't keep your wife waiting on our birthday. <laughs> My wife? That's me. I'm sweet. I'm petite. And I'm... <laughs> now go. But we're not mar... How did she jump to the conclusion that I'm her husband? Hey. Sorry, I have to use the restroom real quick. Eh, hold your horses, Tatsuro. Hey, man. Aren't you that drunk lady's husband? Yeah, sorry. I had to hide for a second. What the hell is going on? I'm just as shocked as you are, buddy. Looks like she thinks you're me. If she's so drunk, she could mistake me for her husband. That's a problem. Oh, I agree. She's both wasted and nearsighted, and that is a dangerous combination. She's got her made. She's she's got her makeup done and the to the nines and and no glasses, so she's blind as a bat right now. Why is she drinking so heavily then? Well, you may have heard her ranting, but it's her birthday today. The thing is. My work keeps calling, so I've been on the phone this whole time. She's kind of pissed about it. Within reason, I guess. What do you do, anyway? Are you a boat captain? Oh, an aircraft pilot. <laughs> Whoops. Can't you tell from looking at me? I'm an aircraft pilot. My wife and I work in the same airline. Uh... Oh, I thought you might have been cosplaying. So what does your airline want with you on your day off? It's... It's not actually my day off. I'm on standby, which means I'm supposed to be waiting at home. But now another pilot's called out sick, and I have to go in. There's a plane full of people who need me. Right. And I take it you're not supposed to go out to dinner while you're on standby. <sighs> nope, not ever. Figures. They better pay you for standby then. They probably do. He probably makes pink. But my wife's birthday slipped my mind. What else was I supposed to do? Uh, I let an irresponsible guy like this fly planes? Scary. Well, it sounds like you're going to have to bite the bullet and tell your wife you're not going you're going to in to work. Yeah, she's getting pretty belligerent, huh? My travel schedule's bad enough. But if I break it to her that I forgot her birthday too, my marriage is over. I was trying to find a way out of this mess when you showed up. Not sure why you sat with her, but I'm glad you did. <laughs> Your voice is the same register as mine. And if you were to wear my uniform... Mm. I don't like where this is going. What, you're gonna get another disguise out of this, Yagami? Well, I'm going to ask anyway. Will you please take my place and have dinner with my wife? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back it up. Any way you slice it, switching places with you is crazy. Would you prefer to fly a plane for me instead? Huh? Okay, that is next level stupid. Honey, did you fall in? 
See, she's calling you. I'm sure you can handle a drunk woman until she passes out. Also, she should probably tell me your address too, so I can get her to not be you pass out in a restaurant when when it happens. Also, this is a really easy thing to fake out. She's so fucking drunk, she's not gonna remember any of this. I have been around people that were way less drunk than this, and they already were blackout and weren't gonna remember anything. And then they didn't remember anything. Come on. Yes, come on. Let's just hurry up and exchange your con our contact info. <sighs> it's cool, Yagami. We got a new disguise. Here. It's a cheat sheet. It's my profile and a few important details about me. Oh god. And here, my license and a few other important knickknacks. Whoa. Uh, is this really necessary? She's- I mean, she is very drunk. <laughs> the devil's in the details in these situations, my friend. Okay, I'm gonna stop by my house and get a spare uniform so you can have this one. What are you- Oh, is, did he go home first? Oh yeah, we're both dressed up. I was gonna say, what is he... Yeah, I thought he was gonna give me his uniform now, and I'm like, what, is he gonna run home naked? I, I arrest people who do that. <laughs> wow! I would trust you to fly a plane just by looking at you. That's a bad call. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Mission 50 is us flying a plane at the rate that things are growing at. Alright, I've gotta get to work. Good luck. Huh? Whoa, wait. Honey, I can see you. Come have a seat. Shit. This is really happening, isn't it? Meanwhile, everyone around us is like, did, they, did that guy just replace the other guy in the same costume? What is happening? Here it goes. Better study this cheat sheet real quick. The Pervert King. Oh, you have to highlight everything. Looking for a different color. There it is. Honey. A note from Tatsuro about his wife, written hastily in a receipt. It reads, Tatsuro Tanaka. 34 years old. Naoko Tanaka. 33 years old. So the names are Tatsuro and Naoko. Tatsuro is one year older, Nayako's 33. Met in a Yakuniku store. Right here! Mom's a nurse. Sister's in England. Dad's in heaven. Nayako's a bad drunk. No sake for her. Has a smelly fart. What? <laughs> that went places. Has a smelly fart? <clears throat> Mom's a nurse, sister's in England, dad's in heaven. Smelly fart. What the fuck? Alright, we'll try our best. Uh, um. Hey, sweetie. Sorry I took so long. Hmm. 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 Now that I look closer. Uh oh. Is this over before it began? Well, she's probably sobering up a bit. The more we wait. You didn't even try to sweep her- You didn't even try to, like, fucking push your hair back. Your giant hair. <laughs> Have you gotten more... handsome lately? Eh? Oh. You really think so? Ha <laughs> ha. So... Who was that on the phone, honey? <gasps> oh, yes. That. Mother, sister, and father, hers or mine? We already have a problem. I can't go back to the note. Well, if it, if it was my father, my father's dead. And if it was my brother, my brother doesn't exist. So, the captain? It was the captain. Hmm. The captain? He would call. Oh no, it was fine. He just, uh, butt dialed me. Is that so? Or could it have been that woman? Uh, woman? What woman? Don't you play dumb with me. Whoa. 
I saw you. You were having a fun little shopping spree with a flight attendant yesterday. A real young piece of ass. Uh, I was. You're a terrible husband. A terrible man. <laughs> what a deplorable man. Scum, I'd say. Wow. This, we really walked into this. I'm at a dinner with a drunk woman who's not my wife, and I'm apparently cheating on her. Cool. <laughs> now, now, sweetie. Let's not make a scene. Oh, I've made terrible life choices. <laughs> oh, man. Should be blasted to the moon. At least she's calming down. She's just wishing death upon all men. They're having def technical difficulties with the plane. So I'm off the hook. Heading back now. Oh, my God. Uh, oh. Oh, thank God. <gasps> Mafu, you know. Huh? Yagami kun? Mafu, you. Oh, no. They're gonna. Th she's gonna mistake her for the flight attendant. Yagami kun, who is this? And what's with the outfit? Are you cosplaying as a pilot? Yagami kun. This woman, a friend of yours, honey. Huh? Honey? Yeah, about this. What what business do you have with my husband? You another one of his hussies? H husband? Yagami kun, something you want to tell me? Uh, um. Hey, let's hear it. Explain this to me right now, you jerk. Did I signal to Mafuyu that I'm undercover? Or will Naoko catch it? Catch on. She probably would. She's drunk and nearsighted. What should I say Mafuyu is to me? You could also text her. My stalker. She's got the wrong guy. She's my ex-girlfriend. She's my stalker. She's my stalker. What? Yakami kun, are you? No, no, no. I'm just messing around. Whatever you're doing right now, Yakami kun, I'm lost. Stop saying my name. <laughs> so, who is she then? She's got the wrong guy? She made a mistake. I'm not Yagami. Yeah, but... Ma'am, can't you see we're in the middle of a meal here? Now would you please leave us be until later? Mafuyu, tell me you got that. I see. If that's how you're gonna act, so be it. She didn't get it. <laughs> She's drunker than you. I want a divorce. Uh, what? That woman from earlier, she's your side piece, isn't she? That's who you were seeing, right? I bet she's a new flight attendant. N no, she's not. I'm going home. W wait a minute, I'll explain everything. Explain what? Uh, um... I need something to fix this. Anything. Mm -hmm. Huh? This logo looks familiar. It's... Oh my god, he's the killer from the ADDC. <laughs> like, it completely takes a left turn. <laughs> it's a recent date and time. You mentioned seeing him shopping with the flight attendant. So it's possible that... <gasps> he was actually shopping for his wife's birthday and a girl was helping him pick things out. Oh my god, what a misunderstanding. What a kooky, crazy outcome. I can prove I'm not having an affair, Naoko. Wow, what item could it be? <laughs> what the fuck? Are you serious? Wait, showing her that right now wouldn't prove her husband isn't having an affair. I need something that'll prove Tatsuro-san has an alibi for when she thinks she saw him with a flight attendant. What was he actually doing with the flight attendant? I must have something that proves it. What? That wasn't- how is that not it? Didn't it have the receipt? Is it in the bag? This is bullshit. 
I'd like you to look at this. This proves I'm not in an affair, doesn't it? It does? I'm not so sure, Buster. Oh, maybe I've got that wrong. Right. Let me show you something that'll make this easier to grasp. Wait, is that a receipt? Oh, it's a receipt! That's- that print is fucking invisible. Oh, because it's on the other side. I thought the receipt- I thought the receipt was in the bag. I didn't realize that the note was the receipt. This looks like scratch paper, but it's actually a receipt. Dun dun dun! To the date? That's the day you saw me shopping with that girl. True. But what does that prove? Don't you see? Here's the store we shopped at. Yeah, it's a luxury store, so you're spending our hard-earned money to get in our pants? Here. Happy birthday, bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Huh? The truth is, I needed a lady's opinion on what kind of present to get you. I don't really know what the ladies are into these days, so... Really? I'm sorry. I wanted it to be a surprise. You got me a birthday present? Oh, honey. How many years has it been since you've done that? Also, why didn't he tell me that that was in the bag? He didn't... I don't think he told me. Like, that's kind of a detail. Like, by the way, there's his, that's her that's her present. I don't know, actually. But I think it means our love is real. It's true, my love. Okay, this is... Why did you do this? Why did you come back now? Oh my god. You're the only one I've ever loved. The only one I'll ever love until I die. Hey. Huh? Huh? Why do I suddenly have two husbands? Oh, crap. I think I'm... Oh, no. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Na Naoko. I think that might have been a bit too much for her to handle. That's real sad. Thank you. Wow, she's fast asleep. Yagami-san, thank you so much. You really went the extra mile for a complete stranger. Yeah, it's all I... It's all I do! <laughs> It was... interesting. But I hope you'll talk it out more when she wakes up. Yeah, I plan on it. I've been putting my work above my marriage, and I see that now. See, they always... we're always blaming it on... We keep doing this, we keep... it's the same thing as before, where we're, we're like, Oh, it's that sitcom 90s dad problem where, like, the, the man's putting his work above his life. It's like... As somebody who's had jobs... You don't really have a lot of choice at your job in that stuff. You're pretty much like, they pretty much have you by the balls all the time. So it's like, oh man, I should be like only part-time working as an airline. What the fuck? Like this, this sassy ass lady in the background, by the way, she is fucking live tweeting everything she's seeing right now. But thanks to you, I think my wife's birthday turned into a great anniversary for us. She's not going to remember a single thing. She's so blackout drunk that she passed out, literally. Glad to hear it. I wish you and Naoko a long happiness, Tatsuro-san. Yes. Tonight, I will make it up to her. You know. Thanks again. I... I think she... I don't know if she's going to get back up, dude. Oh crap, I forgot about Mufuyu. Now I'm the one in hot water. Better message her. Hot, hot water, you just explain it real quick. It's not that hard. Sorry about earlier, Mufuyu. I was undercover, and I said some things I shouldn't have. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have known better. I hope I didn't mess anything up for you. I was going to say, like, this would be the dumbest drama ever if she was actually mad. It's really easy to explain. It's harder if you explain what actually happened, but just saying you're undercover is already enough cover for what was happening without the really elaborate explanation of how bizarre things actually were getting. Because they were getting pretty strange. I still miss... 
all of the karaoke. <laughs> Whenever I finish up a side quest and have like four minutes left in an episode, I'm always like, you know what would be really nice right now? The karaoke that's not in this game. No, go away. I'm trying to buy alcohol. What am I hitting you with? I'm not sure. Well, goodbye. You are dead now. R.I.P. Just trying to finish off that Earth Angel menu. You're not, you're not a character in this game, are you? Mama. I don't think she ever does anything, right? No, it's your, your liquor is so hard that it's hard to get through. I'm trying. It's one of the only places I haven't finished. Okay. Not a... Oh, leaving already? Come back soon. Dude, did you realize- did you see how much I just intook? I can't find your door. Oh, man. You know, Yagami's, like, drinking problem. Yeah, I'd start to be worried eventually about, like, his ability to remember important details about the cases he's working. I feel like that could go very poorly for him. No. Tachibana. Who the fuck's Tachibana? Is that a new guy? I'll destroy him. I think he's my fourth one. I think that's a milestone for me. I really should have been holding left trigger. So I wait. I'm wasting it. I'm wasting my booze. Whoop. 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 Ow. That's an old faithful as far as heat actions go. Ooh, money. I like money. That's not money. It's 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 proto money. It'll be money soon. Goodbye. Okay. Whoop. Okay. Starting to hurt. Look at him roll. Oh hey, a ninja. Hello, Ryan. I, he doesn't look like he's feeling so hot. Oh, he's throwing bombs again. Nope. Nope. And no needs for you. Yeah. That's not what I was going for, though. Going for my wall jump. Oh, no, the cops are arriving. That's not good. For my ability to succeed at this mission. Quick, let me allow me to eat a monstrous amount of bento boxes and stuff. Whoops! Quick, come to the bomb. Ah. I was done with old style at that point. I'm just like, button mash. Just do the basic combo to do damage as fast as possible. I don't want the cops to arrive. They've never arrived before, but they might now. And I did not want to see what happens. <clears throat> maybe they just break it up, or maybe they arrest you? I don't know. I think there was an explanation for it originally. But I don't remember what that explanation was. Or they might have just suggested that eventually the cops arrive, and that was it. Another boss? Tsutsumi. Which one is that? Is that the guy with the belly? No. I can't remember. I don't know. I'm done with their shit. <laughs> Too many boss fights. I just finished the last one. I thought that was a Kaihen gang leader that I haven't fought yet, but maybe it wasn't. Maybe that was a complete waste of time. Please go upstairs. Yeah, there we go. Not upstairs. Go inside. Thank you. 
Well, we did flesh out our dessert menu, and now we're rolling in sugar addicts, which is good for business. <laughs> is that right? That puts my mind at ease. But that's still not enough. At this rate, Conrad is going to swallow us whole. Ugh. Free rice refills. Why not give free refills on rice? Since Yakuniku and rice go practically hand in hand, I think a lot of people would appreciate some rice on the house. Besides, wouldn't it also be better for sales if customers filled up on rice? It's a lot cheaper than meat. <laughs> wow, you really know your stuff. You, sh you sure? But, uh, yep. As much as you keep saying, feels like I've said that before, you really are re recycling all of your dialogue. Like, he gives his new explanation each time of like, this is why my new genius idea is genius. But all the other dialogue is recycled every single time. I'm like, no. Why do I have to do this so many times? Just give me access to your beef menu so I can max it out. I need to buy every skill. Every skill.